Japan are whipping through the sets at the moment. Oh yes, fantastic! That is magnificent from Ali. No chance for anybody. Set number two again, it's a float serve and Sakita. He's a Takahashi! Oh, wow! What a play! Quick tempo to the pin. Absolutely. Good touch. Oh, oh goodness me! But no looky cookie down the line! What a shot from Nishida! And a great illustration of just Japan's ability to be precise. Better pass. And that is how you finish it. And when Bulgaria get it right, they get it really right. Alexander Nikolov. Feed him like that and he'll put it away all day. One on one with the setter. Tanasov serving. Super aggressive. But that pipe attack comes through. Zhong. Wow. Sekita. With the top spinner. Oh, wow. That's Baruhov. It's Baruhov creating a dent in the floor. I mean, quick arm swing and high contact. We can see how he's squared up to that angle. He contacts the ball at one. You should see how excited the youth levels get when they pull it off. Oh. oh. Attack with a bat. Gosh. That was so heavy. You. Into Bozhilov. Oh, that is Nikolov. Putting it down. 18th kill of the game. Back to Rakett, the captain. Good pass from you on the move immediately. Oh, that is oh. sensational volleyball. The Panasonic Panther taken early then by Slivka. Vienyek touches off the block. Kaczmarek. Good dig. Ran Takahashi in a great spot. And Ishikawa cannot miss. I mean, these look like warm up hits he's hitting right now out of the back row. It is unbelievable. And again, the defense and ball control. Mar with Monza. Wow, Masso connects so high with that ball. Ashenko trying to get one at least. Yes, lovely conception. Banks is one. It's a situation where the middle takes the first contact. They have the best idea of the rhythm they need to be moving at to approach this ball full. We see the service sub now coming in in uh, Gutierrez, Suarez. Clement Shebel. Tonani, another good touch. Uno. Oh, he needs to chase down his own shot. Mozic goes cross court and levels at tens. He picked up a good angle, Mozic, Losez. 
follow the Volleyball Nations League with stake and get a 200% sign-up bonus using code Power Volleyball. The player a little too late, and by that time, they haven't got set in the right spot. You can end up with a free swing. Butrin, a lot of effort put into that, but it's a great pass from Tilly, and then Carl oh, from backcourt. Great pass, watching it all the way, and again, as soon as it's touched the arm, the players are getting ready to attack to keep that pressure. That filth. Brilliant skill set. He's in team. Oh, so's that. And he will take that angle every time. You have to take the strong shot straight in front of him away, but as soon as he sees the block, he's going to cut that ball. Sharp diagonal. Swing from Boye. The speed that he can approach on this ball. Luciano Vicentin trying to help in the middle, but before he can even take another step. Oh, that's exquisite hitting. And again, choosing to go back one where he's matched up against a smaller left side blocker. And I've seen him do that in transition a lot. I just wonder if he's choosing that route because of the small blocker. Great up. Oh, that is the spike of the match so far. How on earth has Morteza done this? He's just gone for it, hasn't he? He's realized there's no block. He's had to jump away from the net and still able to get a massive. Play for Parry Volley. Goes full send for that one. What a pipe attack. We've not seen much of Semenyo. And maybe it's about time we saw some more. Well, that was false. Return to sender from Semenyo. That's more like it from him. Good speed. And then splitting the block because Bolter had to commit in the middle. And then the wings can't get in to help out. Floats that one in to Shimanski. Oh, and then Butrin oh, mimics form as they have been so often. And we're only in set number three. The speed of the attacks. He's not jumping, waiting, and then. It wasn't the best by Christensen, rare. Because he and Russell are on the same wavelength and have been for so long. This time he buries it from the back court, TJ DeFalco. We actually haven't seen Team USA use that back row attack very often. They've been really keying on their front row hitters. So nice to see some variety. I'm not saying Christensen doesn't toss in variety, but that just hasn't been a big focus for them because their front row hitters have been getting the job done. Chance for the Netherlands. Hamstra goes big. Where's this going to end? That's how it's going to end because DeFalco is arriving from the back court. They got there in the end. You could almost do defensive training on how DeFalco finished through this attack, okay? Here we go. He goes up. He's got so much forward momentum that he slides underneath. Oh, goodness me, that's amazing. Thought that was going middle. I think everyone thought this was going middle. And now it's a free swing right into the heart of Slovenia's. Ma. Salparov does well. Tanisov finds the hands. Oh, and Grostanov. It's, it's just. Such a steep swing on this ball. Two steps, he's up and in, that's wonderful. Sometimes you don't get any, maybe one step. And he's straight up, straight through the ball. Free ball for Slovenia. And it's not like this is, you kind of, we could just go, oh yeah, that's one of the mill, free ball, pipe attack, there you go, that, that's volleyball. But it's not, it's so much more than that, isn't it? It's precision, it's coordination, it's, it's 
the team understanding what they're trying to achieve as a group, the amount of relationships and interaction that takes for that play to come off, it takes hours and hours and years of practice. And on the world stage, that is lowly indeed. Wow. Kraka enjoying that one. That's always going to be hard to stop when you have a, a middle in the middle of the court against a one-man block and the hitter can hit with range. They're always going to earn that. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.